Hey! What? We coming? Yeah, yeah. It's college football Saturday, and we come in. The Buffaloes, you betcha. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. Saturday Buffaloes edition. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you? Uh, ready for Coach Prime and Shador slash Travis slash, you know, the squad to start dominating. Uh, we're playing Nebraska today, so big game. I'm up early. Let's go. We coming. Uh, got a beer. Uh, picked it out at Trader Joe's. I'm starting to get it's starting to get into Oktoberfest season, y'all. So get into it. And I got a beer from someone who would know how to, how to make Oktoberfest beers. Ennegrin Brewing. Still need to go there. I talked to a girl, uh, brought us, say, probably three weeks ago, who definitely has been there multiple times, met the brothers. Uh, I think it's, uh, let's see, the Ennegrin, Ennegrin brothers. Chris and Matt Ennegrin, and I think Joe uh, Nascenzi, I don't know if you say it, are the brewers. But, uh, yeah, so she had met him, told me more about him. But I, I already know. I just need to go there. Anyway, uh, I've had – I. Previously, I've had a beer that I can always remember called Big Meat from them. Absolutely amazing beer. Tastes like brisket meats, like a you know, an amber amber lager. Uh, it was great. But this one is their Oktoberfest. Uh, literally about three weeks in the in the can. Uh, it is five five point five on the Richter. Tap in Oktoberfest. Gonna have more coming. Uh, you're welcome. So. The description on this Moore Park based brewery, this Oktoberfest, uh, traditional Bavarian Marzen means March style lager, brewed and imported German Munich, Vienna, and Pilsner malts. These malts give our Oktoberfest a beautiful copper color and a full bodied, multi sweet flavor with hints of honey, nuts, and caramel. Prost! I do have my Stein, as I always do, so it's always fitting right here. Um, it does have Haller Tower at Haller. I don't, probably saying that right i've said it before just to say hallertau and nugget hops nugget hops tend to be woody resiny and plenty bitter uh to balance out the floral and uh citrus notes of other hop varietals um and yeah a mar a bavarian style marzen beer uh is a march beer as i said golden to deep amber lager style with a full body moderate business bitterness which is related to both the oktoberfest beer and the v vienna lager so uh, there's a little background on that. Maybe some wood, maybe some resin, maybe plenty of malt. Uh, it's supposed to be a multi beer. Uh, always made in March, not always. Um, so there we go. That's what I got. Uh, you know, getting pumped for the game. Hopefully, pull up a chair, get yourself an early drink, or whenever you see this, and let's get started. Um, yeah, let's see what the aroma has. Very subtle caramel malt, maybe a little bready. Little honey in there. And maybe a little, like I do actually get a little, little like subtle, subtle mint. Okay. Earthy, minty, caramel, and uh, maybe a little woody. All right. I'm looking forward to this. Anagrin. Known for their lagers, go for German style lagers. Uh, you know, that's what they do. No words, just Oktoberfest and my Buffaloes, Coach Prime. Let's roll. How you doing on this Saturday? All right. Um, I just did an Oktoberfest, literally, last review, uh, Sierra Nevada. Already kind of come off very, very similar to that. Uh, caramel malt. Sub, very subtle sweet has just, I mean, I'm getting a little bit more of the honey on this one I think again I think the other one was a little had a little bit more of a hoppy uh, thing the, the, this is is less on the uh, well the, the floral and and uh, piney part of the hops uh, this one is just so far honey caramel malt and uh, clean. Leave in the comments if you've had this or what you're drinking today on this Buffalo Sunday. We play in Nebraska. Can't wait. I hope we hang like 100 points on them. Okay, that's not even possible, but, you know, let's hang a lot on them. Uh, let's pour the rest in. Again, I got this at Trader Joe's in Studio City. Uh, I think you can get a four-pack of this for like 12 bucks. So 
16 ounce cans, pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, go get them if you can. Again, love to hear comments. Uh, if you've had other Oktoberfests that you like, I think I, I did, I think I saw one. I might try to go to an Oktoberfest that's in like, um, not Northridge, but up towards there. Uh, there's, there's apparently one in Big Bear. Let me know if you're around LA, if you're going to a, uh, Oktoberfest. There's one in Big Bear. There's one up, um, somewhere near Northridge. But yeah, clean, almost has like a caramel, or uh, like a co or a cola, Coca-Cola caramel kind of note to it, but nice, nice. Um, all right, I'm going to give some thoughts, um, see if what other people thought so far. Uh, 1,500 people on this one on untapped rate this about a 3.8 out of 5, means to me that kind of giving it like a B plus. Um, I'm going to see what other people got, see if there's anything else I'm missing. Uh, give it a final grade, get the hell out of here, and then go watch some football. Hold on. All right, stamp your ticket to game day. We coming. Boom. All right, let's get that get that in place. All right, all right. So, um, yeah, honestly, nothing more than I got before. Very similar to the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest that I had last review. Just a, just a little less hoppy, maybe a little bit more on the smooth honey side. Comes off about 25% uh, mouthfeel, so just a hitch above uh, like a you know light mouthfeel, not quite medium mouthfeel, and uh, comes off just like the Sierra Nevada, about about, about 6%, even though it's 5.5, 5, just because it's got you know some full-bodied uh, caramel uh, subtle sweetness to it. But yeah, it's nice. Um, nothing like amazing, but Oktoberfest beers aren't supposed to be blow your mind amazing. Just nice, clean, you know, Bavarian style, uh, you know, Marzins. So there we go. Um, uh, thrills to you. So with that being said, and to the brothers and Joe, let's do a, a rating on the Moore Park beer, Ennegrin. Oktoberfest from Stone down to hell no. I'm going to give this one. Uh, kind of what they're saying, but if you, you know, you can see it, that's reasonable. Um, I think I kind of felt the same as, as the other one. I, um, just a straight, maybe like 85 or 86, like B, like really solid B beer. Uh, I feel that's kind of what a lot of these Oktoberfests are going to be. Nothing amazing, a solid B beer, but you know, uh, it's that time of the season. So I'm going to see if I, I still have one more from Joseph's Bra, Joseph's Bra that I got from Trader Joe's. Then I'm going to do that, and I'm going to see if there's any other interesting Oktoberfest out there. I saw, saw one from Smog City. Uh, all these were Trader Joe's. They just kind of showed up all at once. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, UFC tonight, big one. Uh, Israel, Ed, I don't I. It's hard for me to say his last name. Edesanya versus Sh Sean Strickland. Everyone know, that knows UFC knows Israel uh, in the middleweight. And then there's uh, Ty Tuivasa versus Alexander Vol Volkov. I think that's how you say it. At the heavyweight division. So I'm going to try to watch that tonight. Uh, it's going to be baseball. There's going to be, uh, you know, cold drinks. There's going to be, you know, a lot of Saturday activities. They're just great. Uh, I'm, but I'm not going to play golf until tomorrow morning. So. Uh, the golf season is out out uh, to watch, so I think they're playing like the Irish or the yeah the Irish Open right now. I haven't checked where Rory's at, but anyway, uh, do me a favor. More more to you. Hit that like and subscribe button. Really helps out my uh, YouTube algorithm. Need all the help I can get. All the help. I mean, look look at this face. All the help I can get. Yeah, I didn't you know. My mom, my mama never told me to say that, but yeah, boom. Uh, and that's about it. So enjoy your Saturday. Cheers to you. Prost. Let's get it. Like and subscribe. Have a good Saturday. Go Buffs. See ya.